In this video, I'll be solving cash from problem set 6. So we have already done this before in problem set 1. Um, however, the one we did in problem set 1 is slightly different compared to the one we are doing in week 6. Okay, So in problem set 1, we enter the cents in the program. So 25 cents, 70 cents and so on. However, in this Python program, what we're doing differently is that we will be entering the dollar amount. So in stop 50, we'll be entering 0 0.50. So in this demo, they showed 0 0.41 instead of 41. So let's get started. I'm going to just create the folder and um, create the file. Alright, so first step, let's just import get float. Okay, and you'll notice that in our previous uh, week one cache.c, uh, what we did initially is using a do all loop to make sure that the user doesn't enter a negative value. And even in this program, we also have to make sure that the user uh, enters a non-negative value all right so um, the Python equivalent is a uh, wall loop and then we break over the loop when the user enters the correct input so while true we ask the user for the change so change is equals to get float um, chain And then next we check if the change entered by the user is a positive value or not. So if the change is more than zero, then what we want to do is break out of this for loop. Okay, so complete. Next what we want to do is to calculate the number of quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Um, so just to avoid working with decimals and whatnot, we'll be changing the uh, dollar value to cents. So how we'll be doing that is total cents is equals to change times 100 and then to change it to an int we can just look through the lecture and you'll see that um, they use the int function to convert a float number into integers. So let's do that. Int change times 100 and that will make um, the change cents okay I've tried not changing it into cents um, but went into a lot of issues with floating point imprecision which was also covered here so yeah uh, floating point imprecision uh, so yeah I'll just be working with integers like we did for cache.c okay so let's continue so total sense okay now what we are gonna do is to firstly check how many quarters we can get from this um, total change and then dimes and then nickels and then pennies just like we did for cash so let's do that so quarters we can have a uh, total cents divide by 25 and that will give us the number of quarters we get but obviously we have to truncate this value right and by default python does not truncate values so we could do integer and so on okay that will give us the number of quarters and then the total number of cents actually drops equals to total cents and then we can minus off the number of quarters we have right and just to make this shorter we can just do this okay and similarly for uh, dimes nickels and pennies so next we have dimes is equals to int total cents divide by 10 and then total cents minus equals to um, dimes times one times 10 and then we have nickels equals to int total cents uh, times 5 and total cents is equal, uh, minus equals 
nickels times five. And lastly, we have um, just pennies, right? So you don't really have to do this, but just for, you know, making the code look nice, we can do this, okay? And then now the total number of coins we have, so total coins is just gonna be equal to quarters plus times plus nickels plus pennies okay and let's just print that out total coins and let's just check if it's correct okay let's run python cache.py change let's say we want um change of 4.2 4.2 dollars and it's 18 all right so it seems to look correct let's just double check with check 50 to see if our program works right all right so we passed all the checks if you guys like this video hit the like button and subscribe if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll try my best to help you guys out and see you guys on the next video bye bye